Hey, Hippie Magica here. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is for the subscriber called the Marmite09. She asked, um, do you have any meditation playlist that you recommend which you used on your journey? I'm on my self journey and it's so great. It would be good for you to make a playlist and the steps you took or the meditations you used. Blessings. Okay, so I do have a list, which is very short, of the meditations that I used for my first year and even second year of my self-love journey. I began my self-love journey in, on January of 2018. And the first meditation is called Self-Love with Affirmations. It will be in the description below. And this one is all about affirmations, I am affirmations, I am love, I love myself, and it's very short, only like, I think 12 minutes, and it's by another YouTuber, which I discovered and learned and followed through my self-love journey in 2018, so I, I highly respect her, and she even did a, a, an interview with me and so you guys can check that out and also put it in the description below and i do that i did that every morning the first two years this year it just begun but i've been slacking a little bit on my morning meditations but i'm starting today again <laughs> you know when when you need to when when you're lacking on your self-love routine um, because things just start kind of going against the grain things get harder people are meaner you know bad things happen you react so but um, this meditation helped me just get my mindset in the morning of you know of what I am I am love I am beautiful um, I am wanted I am first best so and sometimes I would do it multiple times a day I would do this a lot on the weekends as well when I didn't work at my corporate job and then the meditation number two that I discovered on my own it's called the miracle of letting go manifest meditation so self-love when i began it in 2018 i wanted to attract a specific person i wanted to attract my ex actually and i was doing self-love for you know the first six months so he would come back to me and agnes viverelli which is the girl from the first self-love meditation that I just talked about she always talked about you know it's not about getting it's not about wanting it's not about expecting it's not about you know that like desperation of trying to get so it's not about trying to get ever but I could never get out of that feeling of like okay I'm doing self-love you know so my ex comes back to me and then I would like wait you know the next day if he would text me if he would just appear in my news feed, you know, like I was always expecting him to come back. And this second meditation, the miracle of letting go, helped me let go, helped me just, you know, get off that frequency of like anxiety, of like waiting, of, you know, um, not enjoying the present moment, but instead like waiting for the end to come, which was him coming back to me. So letting go is really the hardest part for me and it's still kind of sometimes, well, a lot of times for me right now, but uh, I get so much faster, you know. Instead of months, I take days, maybe weeks sometimes, depending on what it is. But, and it's very hard to explain this letting go, but it's not expecting anything and it's very contradicting because you want something but at the same time you have to let it go and not expect it to come but that's really how things have manifested at least in my life when i manifested the trip to europe when i manifested the, this laptop money my van even this 
my experience being here in Barcelona, I manifested it. Like I, but this was unintentional. I manifested a lot of things unintentionally, but they they were positive. You know, I just wanted to be with my specific person, and I imagined us traveling together and being together. And I set an intention, like I never want to be away from him. You know, I always want to be with him, and that's what happened. He invited me to Barcelona, and now I'm here, and <laughs> and it's amazing. So, but I didn't expect it. You know, I wasn't expecting any of this because he had to come back to Spain, and I had to stay in Europe because I didn't have money to come here and. You know, like I just didn't, I wasn't obsessed with, with us being together. I just knew we were going to be together, but I wasn't obsessed with, you know, us being together now, physically. So let's definitely listen to these kinds of meditations of letting go and not expecting anything and meditation being in the present moment, which I'm attending an amazing one hour meditation, guided meditation with a group this evening because like I said like I haven't been meditating in the morning this year because I've been moving so much going from one place to another sleeping in one place and another and finally that I have some stability here in Barcelona I have a, a bed with my specific person I have a view I have you know a kitchen a restroom after like five months of just moving around I can finally even though I did meditate when I was hitchhiking, when I was doing the van life, I was meditating, but it was fast, you know, quickly and and very automatic too, you know, like I didn't have to set a time to meditate because I have positive affirmations now, I have positive visualizations automatically, but it's like working out, you can't just stay in shape all the time, like if if you sit around all the time, you're going to start gaining weight, you're going to start being out of shape. So just make it a habit to to meditate in some way. And the last but not least is this Ho'oponopono meditation for self-love and radical forgiveness, which is also in the description below. And I think I did the Ho'oponopono and the self-love med- affirmations like 50-50, you know, like it was one and then the other one, like back to back almost for the first year. It was like, because I had so much anger, so much pain, so much like not wanting to live in this world anymore. You know, it's like so many bad bad things that happened to me, not my entire life, but like in the last years, <clears throat> mostly related to, to love. You know, that's why I do have this channel because I feel like I had 10 years if not 15 years of bad luck and and love you know being cheated being second best being kind of the mistress or the mistress or being lied to or going out with single guys but at the end they had a wife or they had a an ex that they were waiting for and eventually they just left me and they went back to them so it's like all these tragedies you know of love one after another one and these three things, you know, self-love, meditation, affirmations, letting go. Oh, that one's so crucial. They're also crucial in the Ho'oponopono, which is taking responsibility of everything and everyone in your life, which is, they're all super hard. <laughs> but like, oh, I just, everyone's at a different level, but Ho'oponopono is crucial, you know, forgiveness. You have to forgive. And I'm not saying that it's easy. Like, I still have a lot of things to forgive from my past, which I forgot. Yesterday I had a crisis, which maybe I'll talk in another video, but I had a crisis with my specific person. And I thought we were going to end, you know, because I had a a traumatic event kind of blind me. And I thought, I guess my body thought it like the same event was happening, you know, like the pain, didn't want to be cheated on, blah, 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 but it was my past, it wasn't him, and thankfully, my specific person currently is very conscious, he doesn't, he reacts, but he snaps out of it very quickly, and he also meditates, so he's very, you know, we're like on the same wavelength, like, he, he held space for me to react, and to, 
and to cry and to be in pain and you know he forgave me and he actually he he doesn't have anything to forgive he knows I have my own journey and I know he has his own journey but I told him of the stuff that I went through you know like I don't know five years ago and how like that reminded me of what was happening right now but I had to forgive it's like it's like I have to forgive myself I have to forgive my past I have to forgive those people those exes that cheated on me that left me and you know that lied to me it's like not everyone's the same and I just have to forgive and it's gonna keep coming up again and again and again and again and it's okay the more it comes up it means that it's healing and healing and it's healing and there's some videos that I found this year that said that traumas never heal I don't know if that's true or not maybe it's true maybe it's just like traumas always you know they leave a scar and they're gonna hurt you know and but you just learn to not react. You just learn to detach from the thoughts and the images and you know, from the ego because we're not our ego. <sighs> but yeah, it's a very long spiritual journey and it's full time. Like you can't just meditate in the morning and then, you know, just watch crappy videos, watch sad songs, which is what I talked about in my last video. It's like the three things that you can't, that you have to stop doing It's like, being in shape, being wanting to be healthy, like you have to do it all the time. So I would do these meditations definitely, definitely in the morning just to get my mindset like in a better place because I hated going to work. And then at night I would definitely do the whole Pono Pono because bad things would happen at work and I just, I was like angry just coming home and it's like I had to forgive so that wouldn't repeat again. And then on the weekends I would do whatever I felt like I needed the most self-love or letting go if I was so like like desperate it's like it has to happen when is it coming when is it coming when is it coming it's like I would do the letting go Ho'oponopono I would do it when I would feel angry and resentful so yeah let me know if you guys have any more questions I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you guys want to hear any more any different kinds of topics about self-love or if you guys have any questions on what's happening to you in your current life maybe I can give you some guidance through these videos which are free which I love because I believe that the best things in life are free but yes I hope you guys have a beautiful Monday lots of self-love until next time